To explain surface tension on liquid surface, I will take the help of two experiments. In the first experiment, I have a bar of water and a few pins and a specially designed hairpin. Now I will try to place a pin on the surface of the water. It sinks as expected because the density of the pin is greater than that of water. Now I will place another pin gently on the water surface by the help of the specially designed hairpin. What happened now? The pin is floating as if the water surface is behaving like a stressed membrane. Now I will take some detergent solution in a pipette and add this solution dropwise on the water surface. Watch carefully what happens. The floating pin sinks. We can draw the following conclusions from the experiment. The liquid surface behaves like a stretched membrane having tension. When detergent solution is added to the surface of the water, this surface phenomena does not work anymore as because the water molecules on the surface are replaced by detergent molecules. Now the next experiment. In this experiment, I have designed a ring made out of wire material and a cotton thread loosely tied up like this. Now I will make a solution of detergent such that there is enough lather. Now I dip the ring in the solution like this. We get a film of lather over the entire ring like this. At this stage the thread is loose as before. Now I break the film of lather on one side of the thread. What happens now? The thread become taut and form a curve like this. We can conclude that the surface of liquid behaves as a stretched membrane and the tension act tangentially on its surface like this. Surface tension at a particular temperature is this tangential force per unit length on a line drawn on the surface of the liquid and act normally to it and on the plane of the liquid surface. To find out surface energy, we make an arrangement made of thin wire like this. This part may slide like this. A film of lather is introduced in this portion. Let the length of this wire be L. The force acting is 2LT where T is the surface tension. It is multiplied by 2 because there are two surfaces in a film. Now let us drag the sliding wire by a length x against this force. Work done will be 2LTx. The work done per unit area is 2LTx divided by 2Lx which is the area of the two surfaces of the film. This is the surface energy and is numerically equal to the surface tension. This surface tension on liquid surfaces is a molecular phenomena and can be explained. Before this, let me explain some important terms. Force of addition. The mutual attraction between molecules of different substances is called addition. Force of cohesion. The attraction between molecules of the same substance is known as cohesion. When force of addition is much more than the force of cohesion between liquid molecules, then the liquid wets the solid surface. Example, water and paper. When force of cohesion is appreciable, the liquid cannot wet the solid surface. Example, mercury and glass. Molecular range. It is the greatest distance between two molecules from where each of them can feel the force of attraction between the two. Sphere of influence. 
It is the imaginary sphere drawn of radius equal to the molecular range taking position of the molecule as the center. Now let us look at this diagram. There is some liquid in a container. Consider three molecules A, B and C. Draw the sphere of influence around each of them. In case of molecule A, the cohesive force is acting from all sides and the resultant cohesive force is nil. In case of molecule B, a part of the sphere of influence is outside the liquid surface. So the molecule B has a resultant cohesive force acting downwards. The molecule C is on the free surface and half of the sphere of influence lies outside the liquid. The resultant cohesive force therefore acts downwards and is maximum. If we draw a line below the surface like this, at a distance equal to the molecular range, then all the molecules over here has a net resultant cohesive force which act downward and this portion is called the surface spill. Due to this downward resultant cohesive force acting on the molecules situated at the surface film, they have a greater energy. But a system want to be stable by minimizing the energy and hence the surface tend to contract. This is similar to that of a stretched membrane which also tend to contract.